Hey folks, welcome back to another daily unboxing with yours truly, Sam Healy. Today we're taking a look at Kapow! A comic book inspired buildable dice game. Uh, only cost 10 cents. I'm just kidding. That's just the uh, cover. Um, and volume one put out by Two, Ten, Two Ton Porcupine and L4 Studios. Uh, designed by, looks like, Doug Hetrick, Larry Boguki. And Carl Van Ostrand. All right, so you have uh, a buildable dice game. Uh, looks like it's going to be for two players, 13 years or older, 20 to 30 minutes. And okay, so you want to be a superhero or was that a super villain? Well, here is your chance. Tie on that mask, pull up those tights, and get out there. There's evil to be thwarted or good to be eliminated, depending on your perspective. In the two-player, in this two-player game, Kapow, you and your adversary go head-to-head -head in a classic comic book-inspired clash of good versus evil. Each game lasts 20 to 30 minutes and features buildable action dice. All right, so uh, then we also have a couple of other things here. We'll go over this in just a minute. This is a special issue, Sawmill Jackson. So we'll get to that in just a few moments. Let's go ahead and break this box open and see what we can find out here. All right. All right, so kapow. I like the artwork so far. That's not bad. And, ooh, looky there, looky there. All right, these look like heat-printed dice. Um, but let's go ahead and break them open just to see. Come on, work with me, plastic. Goosebraba. All right, there we go. So, yep, looks like heat-printed dice, um, which usually don't wear out too bad, but uh, they just feel a little bit chintzy. But I like, I like them. Um, all the different faces are lo looking pretty cool as well. So that's not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, let's see here. We also have some little plastic pieces, components. I don't know what these are going to be for, but um, they are definitely plastic. Uh, it says buildable dice, so maybe this is these are the different faces that are buildable. Ooh. All right. Oh no. Well, I'll get them in just a minute. And here are the buildable dice. So looks like. You're going to have these little faces and they're going to pop right in here. Bloop, just like that. Now, how easy, oh, oh. Maybe we have to use, oh boy. All right, it's in there somewhere. I, I, it, it's gotta be in here, it's gotta be in here. Little, little tools. Come on, where are you? It's gotta be a tool, man. It's gotta be, game over. Game over. Um, I don't know. Well, you get, you, you get the idea, yeah? Oh, there it is. Found it. <laughs> Here we go. Blink. Comes right up. All right. That's cool. They, they uh, Crisis averted. All right. So there we have these little buildable dice things, and that's what these are for. You can build your own little dice, and they pop right in there and pop right back out using this handy-dandy little life-saving tool right here. Yeah, very awesome. All right, so you have some other little tokens. Um, max health. Uh, so a couple of those things. Why are these tokens? Oh, oh, that didn't come out very easily. All right, all right, so that's that. And you have locked in, locked in. All right, these are coming out pretty pretty easily as well. Kabow! This is the first player token. Okay, so you have all of these little things. Which, okay, these are like combos, looks like. So if you have these two things here, uh, quick breath, you can gain two health, sucker punch. So these are the different kinds of dice faces that are that can be added to your buildable dice, I suppose. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, you have tough nut. Uh, which is pretty interesting because he has, you know, these gauntlets that have like are made out of nuts and bolts. So that's why he's called Tough Nut. All right, so uh, that's cool. Very good, very good. Uh, then you have uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> All right. Um, 
think uh, they, they probably need Cisco's help in uh, naming some of their villains. Uh, Time Out. That's, that, okay, that's a cool name. That's a cool name. Time Out. Uh, some of these different things that they can do here. All right, cool. And then you have more. Uh, I guess this is for the other player. You know, all the different dice and what they can do. All right, oops, folded that the wrong way. Um, yeah, don't know how to do that. All right, here we go. Kapow, hero and villain. This looks like, uh, yeah, these are just hit points. Uh, so you keep, um, where did it go? Yeah, you have these little guys here, I think, that just move up and down the track. All right, we already showed all of those. Um, we have, what does that say? Coquette? Co coquette? Um, all right, sure. Coquette, if you're scared, you can hold my hand. Um, no, thank you. That is a nasty looking hand. Uh, the draining, the draining coquette. All right. Well, uh, over here we have Victor Kane, uh, the maniacal. All right. So that's that. What are these? What are these? What are these? These look like. All right, quick reference, quick references. All right, so he starts over here and all that kind of stuff and it moves over to all of that. So the round structure's over here. Um, all of this is reminders probably. All right, so that's for each player. And we have one more over here. Who is this? Um, the furtive elusivity. All right, elusivity. Listen to this, this, this. All right, so, okay, well, I think you get the idea. Uh, you have all of these, I guess these are basic dice that everybody's gonna have, and then you're gonna have all of these dice, or at least one of them, that you're going to be able to uh, build with all of these little guys right here, and so forth and so on. So that is Kapow, but we also have this other guy over here uh, that is a special edition. So this is a another character that is coming out apparently. Um, uh, what is he though? It looks like he might be a bad dude. Um, Sawmill Jackson, the the special issue, and uh, it looks like uh, some some uh, background over here. And you turn it over, and uh, looks like he's going to be pretty nasty. All right, but uh, then you have a duo board. Well, what is that? A mega villain. That's what Sawmill Jackson is. He's a mega villain. Villain. Okay. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Duo board and duo board. Okay. Well, there you have it. This is everything that we've got for Kapow, a dice building game from Two Ton Porcupine and L4 Studios. Thanks for joining us. Certainly appreciate it. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care. Thanks for watching. Tune in every day for the Dice Tower's daily game unboxing.